Australian passes in the west of Cape. Might be a few little river crossings if they're in full stream or full flood, full flow. A little bit windy to go. High peaks, but not much around. In between the cracks, yeah. But higher up, there's, there's snow on the top. Oh, these stutter bumps are shitty. Back to the Western Cape, <laughs> where the wind blows. It's only a matter of time before they actually put tar through here, which will be a pity. It's always nice to enjoy this in as rough a state as possible. A little bit of water still left in here. So the sea of experts, leave your comments below. Have you ridden or driven this path before? It'd be great to hear from you guys, our viewers. If you have any comments on this path, if you're interested in riding it, also leave your comments below, let us know. Glad to help you or answer any questions you might have route-wise. Etc. Etc. Some parts of the road are quite rough. Which is to be expected. There's snow right in front of us, up on the half peaks. There you can see just a few layers of it. But it's melting pretty quickly. It was a lot more yesterday. Beautiful rock formations. Stunning, stunning, stunning. A few months ago we tried to fly the drone through here, but it just wouldn't lock us on to, um, to fly through and follow, so... Something else I'm looking into is replacing it, We're using a little DJI Spark, which is, yeah... Just not suitable for following adventure bikes at higher speeds. Enjoyable to ride at about 30, 40, 50 k's an hour, then speeding through here. Get to see more. Enjoy the surroundings. This should be never before. Okay. 
Where's it hurting? Huh? Where? Where? Ah. Uh. Look at that rooster hair! Rooster hair! <laughs> Baby, you need to take your jacket off then. Your hair is like way out. Jump when you're ready. Quick wardrobe fix. A quick wardrobe fix for you. Absolutely stunning, stunning little pass. One of our favourites. A lot of folk out on the road today. Tomorrow's a public holiday in South Africa, so it looks like everyone's taking a long. Why not drugs? Why not? A little bit of a breeze blowing through these canyons and crevices. So currently we're trying to figure out how we can get our intercoms or interphones to both connect to the camera at the same time so that we can talk and you can hear both of our conversations. But um, it doesn't look like the interphones allow for that sort of um, connectivity to the 360 camera, unfortunately. So it's only one at a time that can actually connect to 360 at any given time. Uh, we've tried external micro or external recorder, but uh, the, the helmet is just not suitable. There's just too much wind interference, and uh, you can't get good uh, good sound recordings through the helmet, unfortunately, unless you're riding at super low speed. But even then, a small breeze on the side of the helmet blowing into the helmet just distorts it. So. That's a work in progress, unfortunately. A little bit of a disappointment, but it is what it is. So pretty much now, Cal and I are getting oh, busy heading on home now. We're just uh, taking a nice, long, scenic route around. It's probably about a 400k ride today. And this is one of the highlights of the Sea of a VX Put Pass. And um, yeah, then it's all the way back home, and that's the end of this short little break. Once again, thank you so much for those that have subscribed and uh, continuously support the channel. We really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, we uh, would love to Yay! <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, as I was saying. I know, right? The, my, my boots got wet. <laughs> All good. Anyway, like I was saying, those of you that have subscribed, thank you. Those of you that are still considering subscribing, please do show some support on that. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Help us grow the channel so that we can get out and create more content and more videos. Remember to hit that bell notification to be reminded of when we upload new content to the channel. And also, please leave a comment for the algorithm. We've just come, we're still on the same road coming out of Sierra VX Put. Um, heading towards Lanesburg. That's pretty cool. Two buck. Staring at us from the side of the road. Thank goodness the camera's recording now. So we got that in. Some wildlife. National roads and just get off. Oh, stunning. There are some really awesome places and views out here in the Western Cape. Karoo seems to. Oh, we were talking about it earlier on Color Myself in the Helmet. Uh, as a kid, I was always like, why would people want to live out here? It's so boring. There's like nothing to do. And now it's like, I would give a. I'd sell my kidneys to come and live out here. Just to be in the in nature and away from the madding crowd. Absolutely stunning. As you can see up ahead, this is where the dirt road ends. And the tar seal begins. One of our favorite. We're just busy talking now. It's also Cal's favorite road in the Western Cape. Alrighty. Mikey's River. 
ver o mundo, já estou a tomar. Welcome to Mikey's Food Cave. I don't think that is the actual hotel. I hope not. Jesus, tiny. Nice, at the end, on the end one now, um, wind is behind us. Busy doing a new section of the N1, yeah. another lane. Can't wait for that to open. It's going to make a, hopefully this road a lot more safer. This is the national road that heads between Cape Town to Johannesburg. So if you turn around behind us and you head straight, you'll land up in Johannesburg. For those of you that do not know the N1. On our left hand side, uh, they got the big five, there's lions there too, apparently. So we're just going to sit behind this truck for now and then hopefully see some some animals. The last time we passed through here, there was a uh, giraffe that was right through here. Let's, let's see if we can see any more other creatures. Okay, so in front of us here, on the left hand side is a cooler, where all the guests, the accommodation are, and then on the right side is where they keep all the lions. There's a lion, busy poking its head up at us. <laughs> I don't think you'll see it in the camera, but we'll, we'll have a look when we, when we do the editing if we can see the lion staring at us as we ride right. along. So yeah, this road uh, leads to Cirrus, it's 70 kilometers long. We're going to go over the hex part, I think it is. Thank you, we'll check when we get closer. And, uh, it looks like the mountains here are quite uh, packed full of snow, so it must have been the last bit of snowfalls or um, 
with the season because we're now technically in springtime with the spring equinox. So, uh, yeah, our ship is just around the corner while other countries are now getting ready to go into winter. Hello Kelly! Hello Kelly! What's Kelly doing? shot it with a shotgun. Let's see who's got their stickers behind the box. Nobody. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so just a quick little break here at the picnic spot. And we continue our trip down Baines Cliff Pass. A lot of people collecting fresh stream mineral water coming out the mountain, putting up their, their containers. I mean, you don't get any more fresher than this water that comes out of these mountains.
I switch back. Actually, quite lucky that uh, going up and down, there hasn't been any traffic, or we haven't been stuck behind any cars. Nothing worse than watching a video footage while you're stuck behind a car. It's usually a white van or a red car. But right now, it seems to be clear, open roads all the way. Like, is everybody staying at home today? Is everyone still at work? I know tomorrow is a public holiday, but. Interesting. Not complaining. That's the way we love it. <laughs> See? White van or red car. <laughs> Old baboon troop. <laughs> Cute, eh? The little ones, they just stare at you. Always cool to see the wildlife up here. The boons. Cute the way you ride past and their little eyes like stare at you like, what are you going to do? There we go, that was uh, Bainscliff Pass. 23 kilometers long. This is the lower foothills on the opposite side on the Wellington side. And uh, going to shut down and stop recording on this, this section. Ahead of us there, you can see. Sorry, this is checking with Cal. Uh, ahead of us there, you can see Table Mountain, which means that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It really means a lot to Kelly and myself. Please remember to comment. That's very important for the algorithm. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more or something different from us. And we will... Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's very important. Hit that subscribe button. Just smash it. Hit it. Do it right now. That's right. I'm waiting until you hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Just kidding. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode of To the Back of Beyond.